Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how you can save energy at the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Let me show you 10 tips and tricks for that. And the first thing is pretty simple but very effective because uh, if you don't need actually your Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth or your NFC, just turn it off because the phone is checking always networks. Well, you don't realize that but the phone is always checking networks and that takes energy. For that just scroll in here, go to the symbol for the settings and here the connections you can turn them off. Much more easy is it directly at the shortcuts here. Now if you scroll on here, then you have here directly the icon for the, uh, for the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth. Uh, by the NFC symbol, you have to add it. Just scroll on here again in the shortcuts. You have some more options, by the way, and a second page. And a part of the second page is the plus symbol here. And now you can add here the NFC symbol as well to your shortcuts. Just put it like this and may put it next to Bluetooth and go on done. And now you can enable uh, or, or disable also pretty, pretty easy the NFC symbol in case you don't need that. And that saves a lot of energy. And by the way, the phone is also, if you have the Bluetooth turned off, um, the phone is checking Bluetooth always in the background and you can remove that point also. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings, then go on connections. And if I go now here on more connection settings, I have the chance to um, turn this here off, the nearby device scanning. Even if your Bluetooth is turned off, this thing is checking always with Bluetooth the area. So just turn it off. Um, just if you have uh, this little text to find something and the key holders and so on, then this point is interesting, but actually not that much. So just turn it off. It saves a lot of energy. And the next point is for the display, because you are having a refreshing rate of 120 hertz, what sounds great, but most of the time you don't need that. Just if you play games, but let's be honest, how often we are playing games here on the phone, uh, just reduce it to 60 hertz because all over the years you were working with 60 hertz and it was okay, I think, yeah? isn't it? Okay, let me show you how I can reduce that. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, then go to the point display and you will have the point motion smoothness. Actually, it's on high, so on 120 hertz, but I recommend to you to just put it on standard and you will save a lot. If you go here and apply, you will save a lot of energy. Change it, you don't need that. And the next point is as well for the display. You see already, light and dark. Huh? Um, if the display is very bright, And the next point is also for the display, uh, you can see already with light and dark, because in the evening hours, uh, you have a very bright screen and that affects your eyes, by the way, in a negative way. So I would recommend to you to have it in the evening here with the dark mode. And then many stuff, what was white before, turns into a dark mode. And this saves a lot of energy because the OLED screen will turn off these pixels. So what is black now, the pixels are turned off and that saves a lot of energy. But I recommend you to only use that here in the evening hours or in the night, because during the day, if this, there's a lot of sunlight, sometimes you cannot read very well the display and that's not good for your eyes. So that you don't have to turn it on and off always by your own, just go here on the dark mode settings, then go on turn as scheduled. And then whenever the sun sets now, the dark mode will turn on, and if the sun rises, the dark mode will turn off. A very nice mode. Another thing for the display is uh, the screen time out because the screen is taking the most energy here at the phone. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll in here, go to the symbol for the settings, then go again here on display and here we will need the point screen time out. The basic settings are 30 seconds, what is okay, but if you have increased it, I would recommend to you to have it at a maximum one minute. I have two minutes actually, because I want to show you some stuff without always um, you know, the screen turning off and so on. Um, I would recommend to you to have it a maximum at one minute, because as I have said, 
the screen is taking the most energy so you can save a lot of energy and money with that. The next point I want to show you is for the network because uh, maybe you're in a country uh, where 5G is not available at present or your provider doesn't support 5G, it's also possible, then you should remove 5G because uh, this antenna is taking energy because it's looking always to have a 5G network. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, go to the point connections, and then you will need the point mobile networks. So, and you can set up at network mode the networks you need. Yeah? And if you don't have access to 5G, then take LTE, so 4G, yeah? 3G and 2G. And that saves a lot of energy as well. And also if you say, okay, I don't need 5G all over the time. So I have also a good network with 4G just change it because it is taking a lot of energy and 4G is very fast as well. In the next mode I want to show you is uh, to remove animations because always if you open an app here, no, you have a little animation. So it zooms out and zooms in, no? zooms out and zooms in. And these uh, animations are taking also performance and that is energy. Let me show you what I mean and how you can remove them. So just scroll in here. Go to the symbol for the settings, then go down to the point accessibility, this guy here. And now you need the point visibility enhancements. And here we have the point remove animations. Let's turn it on. And that means whenever you open out the app, it's immediately there. And if you close it, it's immediately the gun. <laughs> and that makes the phone as well much faster. No? There, gun. Same here, yes, there, gun. Let me turn them on right now just so that you. Um, can see the differences. So I remove remove animations. So the phone feels slower right now with these animations. No? But if you um, turn on to remove the animations, um, it is much faster now. And the next point I want to show you is to have extra dim. We will have that also here at the vis visibility enhancements. Because if we enable extra dim, so we will have now 10% uh, less of the brightness, especially in the evening hours. This is very good for the screen. So I would recommend you to tap here again on extra dim and um, put an extra dim shortcut. So now we have always here this little guy in the corner. No? Got it. So whenever we tap this guy, so pretty simple especially in the evening hours, just tap this guy and you have uh, less brightness here at the screen. And that saves, as we have learned, a lot of energy because the screen is taking the most energy. Let me turn it on and you can follow the video better uh, in the evening hours. It is much recommended to use the extra dim. In the next mode I want to show you is a power saving mode. Now, the power saving mode is combining some things, what we have seen before also, um, but can do also some more stuff. Let me show you what I mean exactly. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you have here the point power saving. Yeah? If you turn it on, you see the brightness, the brightness of the screen is uh, going down a bit. Uh, the CPU speed becomes a bit lower and so on. Let me go now on the written word here, power saving on, on, on details, because here you have described a bit what happened. No? Some background activities, um, I reduced, uh, we're going to the standard refreshing rate of 60 Hertz. Uh, we will turn off here the 5G. No? We uh, decrease the brightness of the screen. We limit the CPU speed was pretty nice and so on. So we can also disable here some stuff. If you say, okay, I don't want to have uh, maybe the uh, decrease of the um, screen brightness, you can just turn it off and so on. No? Um, what I recommend to you really here in this power saving mode is the limit apps and home screen. Because if you really need with energy and you see that you have just a few percent of your phone, but you need to go a while, then you should take it. Actually, by the way, we have uh, with the power saving mode one day and two hours. No? But if you enable here the limit apps and home screen, you will upgrade it to 
three days and 11 hours is three times more um, if you use that one. Let us have a look now what happened if we, if we go with the limit apps and home screen. We have, a, we have an own um, interface right now for saving energy. Uh, we have a dark mode screen, as we have learned, this is taking energy because the pixels are turned off here at the OLED screen. We have a timeout of 15 seconds and we have limited apps. So we have our most used apps right now. So uh, basically always the phone, the messages, the internet and the settings. This is by default. And you can add also some apps like I did, you know, WhatsApp, YouTube, I've uh, chosen already. I did a plus symbol. You can add some more like Gmail and so on. Later, you can edit it also here on the three points again, by the way. And yeah, this mode can save maybe your life one day. So you should really know about. And uh, yeah, whenever, uh, also here again, with 42% of battery, you have uh, three and a half days uh, remaining. So pretty, pretty cool. And whenever you have the chance to charge your phone again and you want to go to the basic uh, version, just tap you on the three points and go on turn off power saving. Then you're in the regular mode. By the way, no data is touched or something like this. It is just an own interface if you really want to save energy. And you can use also the, this mode if you're not really in need, no? because you have the basic things and that saves a lot of energy. No? If you scroll on here, scroll on again. Whenever you tap now, you're in the power saving mode, you will have this limited home and app screen, so the iDrop power saving mode. No? So just set up here, if you want to have it at the details, the limited home and app screen, the iDrop power saving mode or not. And whenever you turn on now the power saving mode, you will have the one with limited, or if you, have, if you haven't chosen it, the basic power saving mode. And one more thing for charging the phone. It's the last part I want to show you. It is not good if you charge your phone always uh, up to 100%. It is great if you are in between 20 and at maximum 85%. Uh, then you have a good battery all over the time. Uh, and that you don't have to check it always. Oh, is my phone already uh, at 85 or more percent? Uh, the phone can start the charging automatically at 85%. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, go to the same before the settings, scroll down to the point battery and device care, tap here on battery, and then you have some statistics here up there, and go on more battery settings, and you can protect the battery, and that extend the lifespan of your battery. And that means if you can uh, work with your phone longer, that saves a lot of money uh, and also is great for the environment. So just enable this point here and then uh, if you charging your phone, the phone will stop automatically at 85% um, because if it's more than that, the charging becomes slower and it is not that good for your battery at all. So try always to be with the charging within 20% and 85%. Yeah, this has been uh, 10 tips and tricks here for the energy uh, for the Samsung Galaxy A53. I hope I could help you with this video and give you some new tips and tricks here. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. It would be very helpful for my videos and maybe share this video that other people can save also uh, energy here with uh, their phones. Uh, would be great. Think about our planet. And uh, yeah, I've uh, done also some other tips and tricks for the phone. If you're interested in more, you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.